So here we have the Mini Cooper S Paceman on a 63 plate. So I'm going to start off firstly by showing you around the outside of the car and then we'll hop in and run through some of the controls on the inside of it. From the outside, you can see that it's a three door car with alloy wheels. We're going to start off inside the boot space of the vehicle, first of all. As we approach the back of the car, you can see we have the twin tailpipes, reversing sensors, plenty of boot space as well, uh, which you can increase by folding down either or both of these 50-50 split folding rear seats. Okay, so we're just gonna work our way back around to the front of the car, and then we'll hop in. And as I mentioned, we'll run through some controls from there. Now that we've done a full circle of it though, you can see it's in lovely condition the whole way around. Just briefly before we climb in, I think it's well worth seeing the interior from this exterior point of view. There's plenty to run through on the dashboard, so let's hop in and we'll do that now. Okay, now that we're inside the car, we're gonna start with the dial. So you can see the rev counter just there. Within the rev counter, we have a digital readout for the speedometer. Beneath which, the total miles for the car can be seen there, 85,897. You can change information displayed directly above that using a button on the end of the indicator stalk. If we back out to the steering wheel next, on the left-hand side, we have stereo and phone controls. On the right-hand side, our cruise control. And then over into the center, the main screen for the car. Uh, so from this screen, you can check your vehicle status, uh, check to see if you have service requirements. As you can see, services are completely up to date on this car. We have the main speedometer there as well. And you come back out of that to the main menu. All the movement that you can see me currently making on the screen it's being done using this dial which rotates pushes down it also moves up down left and right as well which will become useful in certain menus and you can get back to your home screen from here but twisting it to for example satellite navigation and then pushing that dial down will take you into your sat nav menu nice clear color display as you can see if you drop the dial over to the left you'll access that panel over on the left hand side and then rotate the dial again we can come back to the home screen uh, you can pair your phone, of course. Uh, we have the radio. This car has got AM, FM, and DAB radio, as you can see. And you listen to your own music under the CD multimedia input. We have USB input, Bluetooth audio, auxiliary input, and a CD player as well, which can be found just here, along with the volume for the stereo. Directly beneath that, we then have your climate control. So you can increase and decrease the fan speed. You can increase and decrease the temperature inside the car. You can also change the direction the air is being distributed in. When you're happy with those settings, set your air conditioning off, back on again, or hit auto. The car will then maintain the temperature you've asked for by taking control of the fan speed and direction of the air for you. You can override that manually, and you see auto has now gone off, and you can do that whenever you wish to. We have front and rear fog lights. You can put the car in sport mode. You can lock and unlock it from here. You can turn off the stop and start. This car is designed to cut out when it's stationary in traffic to save you fuel. That system is off when that light shows. You can also turn your traction control on and off as well. We have two cup holders and a 12 volt charging socket and then your six speed manual gearbox. Last thing I wanted to mention are the two sunroofs. So we have manual sun blinds that will open up for both front and rear. Uh, the front sunroof will also open fully, as you can see, and that opens over the top of the rear one, which is fixed in position there. All that leaves me to say is thank you for taking the time to watch this video. If you'd like to come and see the car for yourself and have a test drive, please feel free to give us a call here at Glenbournes. We'd love to hear from you soon.